in states that have right to work legislation. Um, those states with right to work legislation generally have lower median household incomes than those that do not have uh, right to work legislation. So that's what the literature said. If the evidence does show that passing right to work legislation affects um, median family incomes within the state, we're not just talking about labor, labor households, we're talking about across the board. Um, right to work legislation ratchets down the average wages um, across the board, labor, people who are in labor unions and in not. And so this is not just going to affect the hard hat, not just going to affect the school teacher, but anybody in the state who's working, it's going to have a downward pressure on their wages. And with that, by lowering the wages, it also has a broader impact on the economy. Because again, if people have less money to spend, they're going to be able to spend less money on goods, less money on, let's say, going to tourist resorts, less money on whatever. And that just has a general impact in terms of hurting the economy.